Hey, I'm Chaz here for Board Game Geek, and I'm joined by Matt from Forever Stoked Creative. Yes, hey. Hey, nice to meet you. And we're going to be taking a look at Glamazons. Yeah, Glamazons versus the Curse of the Chainmail Bikini, actually. It's got a whole, it's, oh, a, it's, got a, whole it's a real mouthful. That one. Where are we it's a real mouthful. That one? Uh, <laughs> yeah, so uh, this is a game that um, myself, my design partner Trish, did uh, a bunch of years ago. It is a supremely late Kickstarter. We may actually have the record for being the latest successfully fulfilled Kickstarter. <laughs> Uh, because it turns out while I'm pretty good at designing games for other people and doing a whole lot of other stuff in the industry, mm -hmm. I'm not real good at like some, some of the detail elements of, uh, <laughs> of the, the, the publishing world uh, <laughs> at mass scale. But, uh, but it, it exists. It's here. It's great. That's you, excellent. You, you can definitely order it from us. It's a real thing. Well, there we go. Um, so yeah, I mean, this was, I think I previewed this with Eric like five years ago or something. Oh, wow. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> but but it exists. It's very exciting. Um, so basically the game is that you have uh, just graduated from fighter school. Uh, you're a bunch of femme uh, warriors and you go to the armor shop and there's, you know, an armor guy and he's like, oh, hey, dudes, like, here's your giant, you know, like chess piece with spikes and whatever. And mm -hmm. ladies, here are your chainmail bikinis. Uh, so what you do is you band together with your friends, you go out, you kill monsters, and you, you know, turn them into better armor. Ah, excellent. Uh, so what you're doing is you're going to go out, you're going to uh, do a bluffing game uh, about who uh, did the most damage. Uh, mm -hmm. It's kind of the mechanical core. Okay. Um, but the real hook on this one that, that is, to me is the, the most exciting, I and mean, I think the game's great too, but uh, is that everything is uh, these reusable vinyl stickers here. Mm -hmm. um, so we have these uh, different sort of like uh, sticker sheets. Mm -hmm. And then depending on what monster you go up against, that's what piece of armor may be in question. Okay. And so for example, that would be that guy's legs, right? And so we kill him mm -hmm. and we turn him into some uh, some pants here. I, mean, I don't know which is the best way to show these cool, oh, just for, just, these uh, keep, cool pants. Keep it oriented for us. Look at these too, cool uh, pants. They're upside down pants. It's like there. a weird, weird uh, modern pant. It's so, you got like, so you got like cool pants and stuff, you mm -hmm. know? Uh, and then you would just put those on. So, and you armor up with the, the skin of your former foe? Yeah, exactly, exactly. And then so mechanically, um, we have identical decks okay. of cards numbered one through eight. Mm -hmm. This would be our attack deck. Um, we're going to shuffle this up, and we're going to have two of them in our hand. Okay. Then add, we're going to start the turn. I'm going to choose who my best frenemy is. So I'm going to flip this over, and this would be, oh, this actually works out perfectly. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Didn't okay. even plan it that way. Oh. However, so you are my best frenemy this round, okay. and that means that you and I are going to go out. All right. And you are going to take one of the cards from your hand, put mm -hmm. it face down, and you are going to tell me what number it is. Okay, and I'm you gonna... want to have the highest number. These are one through eight. One through eight? Yep. Okay, well, I'll, I'll say that uh, it was a three. A three, okay, so not an aggressive move. So I'm going to say that this, uh, I'm going to accept that, because okay. that's, that's fine. I could call BS on it, but I'm okay. not going to. So now I'm going to say that this is a seven. All so right. you can accept that, or you can call BS. You know, you've never given me a reason not to trust you. So Great. I guess that's a seven. Sure. So now we do not reveal these cards. Uh -huh. We put them face down into the discard pile. Okay. And uh, I claimed a higher number that you accepted, which okay. means that I would get that piece of armor. Okay. However, let's say that you called me. Yeah, right? no, it's, there's no way that's a seven. Come on. So I flip it, and it is indeed a seven. What? But So now this will get discarded still. Okay. But now you know that that was a seven. Yes. Uh, you lost a challenge, which okay. means that not only do you not get this piece of armor, uh, but I also get to steal something from you, which is perfect, because I'm just going to get the matching hat here. My hat? I... I just slaughtered that hat. Yeah, now, now, but you get to show off your cool haircut. <laughs> so now you, I have more uh, put together outfit. <laughs> uh, goal of the game is to fill all five slots okay. of armor. So you have a head, chest, waist, legs, and feet. Mm -hmm. uh, First person to fill all five slots wins. Uh, okay. There are no points necessarily associated with having a matching set, although if you want to play like a real tournament rule, there is a slight rule for that, but it okay. doesn't need to match, uh -huh. um, although it's more fun. But if you have multiple pairs of pants, you know, you can swap them out as you're okay. playing. Uh, there's also some fun accessories like, uh, you know, this singing sword, uh, somebody has a familiar, right? <laughs> so there's a bunch of extra stuff in there as well. Um, okay. But oh. yeah, that's that's it. When the monster comes up, are we competing for just uh, something 
um, from that monster's hide or a, like pants? Are we looking? We are specifically, uh, so those are pants. Oh. So okay. there's uh, seven monsters total. You play oh. one monster more than the number okay. of players. So what if I have pants? What if these come up? Yep. I have no pants, but yep. you already have pants. Uh, what does that do? Well, so this a... would be this would be these specific pants. So there's only okay. one card for each. Okay. Well, there's only one card for each thing. Right. But and if uh, if if like these pants came yep. up, um, would it be beneficial to me to still try? Well, for you. To yeah. Still oh, try absolutely. To keep me from getting them. Absolutely, you know you because them. a uh, resource denial. I don't want you to have the thing because right. if you have the thing, you're closer to winning. Okay, so that's definitely uh, and also, it gives me a, a fashionable option. Okay. Uh, and B, uh, mechanically, it allows me to have my pants uh, stolen and still have another pair of pants. Ah, so they accumulate. Yeah, because if the uh, yeah, exactly. So then you have multiple pants. Multiple pants. Always uh, which, a good thing. Which to have. exactly, exactly, especially when you're traveling. <laughs> yes. Uh, I mean, all the pants. <laughs> so we're gonna get stuck here in Reno, so I'm gonna wish that I brought more pants. Actually. <laughs> well, if you, whoops, if you want to see what the game looks like, it looks like this: as Glamazons versus the Curse of the Chainmail Bikini. Yes, and yeah. uh, you can order it direct from us at uh, joyisdead.com. <laughs> Of course, <laughs> and um, and you said it's, it's fulfilling. Fine, family fun. <laughs> right. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Excellent. All right. So yeah, check it out. And thank you, Matt. No, thank you for having us. All right. And uh, everybody get home safe. Yes. Talk to you again soon. <laughs>